G'day, I'm Yuki Santev, and in part two of this series, Unity for the Absolute Beginner, we will be installing, configuring, and testing GitHub. Okay, so GitHub is the deal today. Continuing on from part one, uh, we will now install and configure GitHub. GitHub uh, is your way of tracking changes in your Unity projects, and uh, it can also be used to revert back to an earlier state. Uh, for example, if you did a major stuff up in your project and you needed to roll it back, you can do so. At this stage, if you are indeed a beginner, then its basic features are all you're really going to need. So this video should be rather quick, and I will make a more advanced GitHub video later in the series. Okay, so let's just jump straight in and go to their website. First thing we need to do is create an account. So hit sign up and follow the prompts to create an account. Of course, you're gonna need the account, otherwise you won't have an online store. All done, great. Now log in and go to another website, uh, desktop.github.com and hit download on the main page. After you've downloaded the installer, click it to start the installation. Now this installation will ask you absolutely nothing and it will just install super quick and it will create a shortcut on your desktop. Now, if it's uh, not logged in or you didn't prompt you to log in, then go to File and then Options. And from there, you can sign in to github.com. It will warn you that you have to use your browser to sign in for extra security. Click Continue on that with the browser and sign in and then click Open Link. Give it a few seconds to link the account. Um, now you can click File and Options again to confirm you are logged in and while you're there you might like to click Appearance and change your theme to dark or light depending on your preference. Alright, so we're good to go. Now we will create a new repository on your computer. We'll slap a Unity project inside it and make some changes to make sure it's all working. So click File and then New Repository. Uh, now just one big note here, this is where your Unity project is going to reside, so place it obviously where you want your Unity project. Uh, so first of all give it a name, my repository will be for my beginner series in Unity, so that's what I'm naming mine. Uh, if you intend to follow this series then I guess give it an appropriate name, otherwise anything you like. Also just uh, to note that GitHub does not like spaces, so it will auto replace them with a hyphen. Any description you like, just to remind you uh, what it is in case the actual name doesn't give it away. Uh, initialize with README, uh, this just creates a README file for people to read in your repository if it was published publicly on the website. Uh, I don't think you need that right now and can always be added later anyway. Local path, this is obviously where it's going to be stored on your computer. Um, the folder path you enter here will be the root. Um, that means that it will be stored in that root folder with a subfolder with the name that you called it above. So for example, uh, with my name and folder full path on the screen here, my full path will be what you see on the screen right now. Um, again, just remember this is where your Unity project will live also. Git ignore. So this little puppy is rather useful for keeping unnecessary files ignored. Select Unity from this drop down. Uh, I'll explain this in a minute. Now click Create Repository. Good, your repository is complete. You will now see on the right that it is not published yet. This just means that only a local copy on your computer exists at this point, and we will publish it in a little bit. Now click Show in Explorer to see the directory of that repository on your local PC. Notice that the repository is stored under its own folder of the name you gave it. Make sure you are viewing hidden files, and if you are, then you should be viewing three items, and one of those items is .gitignore. If you open this file up uh, with Notepad or Notepad++ or something like that, you will notice that there are a list of files and extensions that GitHub will ignore when you're making changes on your project. Uh, you can alter this file if need be, but it's usually good enough as is. So that's it. We're ready to make a new project and store it in this repository. So close your GitHub and open your Unity Hub. Uh, from here we're going to create a new 3D project. Uh, you can give it any name and path you'd like because it's going to be moved into the GitHub directory after you've created it, so it won't really matter what you name it. After the new project has been created and loaded, close it and browse to where it is stored. Then cut the entire contents
and paste it into the GitHub directory. If this gives you an error cutting, then you probably forgot to close the project in the editor. Remember, we're moving it. Click the three dots and select remove project from the hub because of course it's not there anymore. And also just to note that there are other ways to do this. Um, for example, you can create the project first and then secondly, open the project folder with GitHub to create the repository. Um, but sometimes it can get a little tricky though. Um, but I'm sure with some playing around, you'll find your more preferred method. Um, but this is kind of the simplest way. Right, so now we're going to reopen GitHub and you will see all the new files. So now you need to commit all of these new files. Uh, committing just means that you are happy with all the changes and you're ready to commit them. Give a commit reason and any notes and hit commit. Now on the history tab, you can see the commit that you just made and any other historical commits that you've made listed there. Now we can publish it to the web, so hit publish and it will upload everything that is not being ignored uh, to your store on the GitHub servers. Um, you can keep it private for now unless you want it public, of course. After it's finished uploading, you can open the repository on the web by clicking repository and then selecting view on GitHub or you can just select view on GitHub from the main screen. And there it is, an offsite backup of your project. Now you can minimize or close your GitHub desktop and let's open the project and make a change. So now uh, open up your Unity Hub and uh, you'll notice of course your project has moved so you will have to open it from its new location. Don't worry, you've only got to do this once and the Hub will actually remember it next time. So click open and browse to the folder where your GitHub and project is and select open. Now with the project open, let's put a cube into the scene. Right click on your hierarchy and select 3D object and then cube. After that's all done, save your project with file save and give it a close. So bring up your GitHub desktop and you will see some additions or changes that might look kind of cryptic. It's basically that Git GitHub has picked up that there are changes and the addition of the cube to the scene. So this is currently stored only on your PC and you still have the original unchanged version on your GitHub store. So when you are totally, completely, absolutely, positively sure that you want to commit any changes to the online store, you can enter a comment and commit the change and publish it. Then again, you can look on the GitHub web to see that it's uploaded, just to double check. You can also look up the changes online. Of course, you don't have to do this every time, but for the purposes of this video, we're doing it. So this is the most basic feature of GitHub. But of course, there is a lot more to it. Uh, there's the use of branches where the power really kicks in. And you can do things like create branches for different areas of your project and edit them or even have someone else edit them without changing or harming the rest of your project. Then if you're happy with the changes, you can merge them back into your main project, stuff like that. But at this early stage, simple commits are all you really will need. Um, I will cover branches later on in the series. So now that we've got all the uh, tedious installs out of the way, uh, my next video is probably going to be doing some stuff in Unity, going through some basics. So I'll see you next time. <laughs>